Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a haul for the month of January. Quick shout out going to On Point Gear. He does the same thing that I do with my videos, which is, you know, fashion related hauls, pickups, and true reviews. So if you guys are into that stuff as much as I am, please do check the homies channel out as well as his Twitter and his Instagram. And I'll have those three links down in the description below. So anyways, the first pickup will be on this flannel right here that I got at Zara. Um, it was originally going on for $59 and I got it for $29 because there was a sale going on and I think there still is a sale going on so just in case I'll have Zara's link down in the description below and uh, I got a size medium for this one. Zara you would usually have to go like um, a size large or an XL uh, for me um, so like one size or two sizes up your regular size but for this one just go your regular size and you're, you're good to go. So really nice colors. Christmassy colors, I have to say, but that doesn't mean you can't wear it on fall or maybe when uh, in the springtime if it gets a little bit chilly. Really nice pattern that's going on. You got forest green, black, navy, red, and white on the pattern, which all those colors look great together. On the inside, let me just open it up. Well, also talking about unbuttoning it up, here we have some nice plastic buttons that kind of has a wood finish to it. So. It definitely gives it that illusion that it's kind of plastic, uh, kind of plasticky, kind of wood-like, um, which is a nice touch. And it's also kind of transparent too. So on the inside, it has a quilted material, which is really nice. In my opinion, uh, awesome. It's not just a one thick layer of flannel. It has multiple layers, which is pretty sick. Um, and it keeps you extra cozy, in my opinion. So here it is on the inside, giving you a closer look at it. I don't know what else to say, but so here are some Zara pants. I was about to say flannel pants. Oh God! So here are some Zara pants, and they're called faux fall 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 leather. Basically, look alike leather. I'm not sure how to say it, pronounce it, but F A U X. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. So here they are. I got this on Boxing Day online. Look alike leather, not real leather. One person actually asked me, like, is it a real leather? I said, no, it's not. It's fake leather. Um, these are going for $67 when I got that. That's with taxes included. And now they're going up for $50 with taxes included now, um, which kind of pissed me off because they're having a bigger sale that, than they did in Boxing Day. You have to go to your regular size with this. I got a size 32, thinking, of course, you know, Zara. You have to go one or two sizes up because that's what I would usually do at Zara. Um, but for this pair of pants and for that final, go your true size, I guess. Um, I have to wear a belt, which is kind of irritating. It has a Zara men text going on the button right here with the line in the middle. Same goes for some more of the buttons that are put right there on the pocket part. Where is it? There it is. There it is right there. Um, it has a five pocket going on and, uh, you know, just a standard pocket. But the real thing for me that makes these pants so comfortable is the inside. Look at that. You got, what is that, satin? I'm not sure, but some silky ass fabric going on here. It's just really smooth material on the inside. You also have this metal zipper, which is a nice touch. Go your true size. Got this for 60. You can get it for 50. But as I said, um, if you're still having a sale, you should still have it for 40 or 50 on the link that uh, I have down below. Now I got two shoes for you guys. Uh, they're both Nike. One is gonna be, uh, I guess both of them are running shoes. Um, but the first one up is the Nike Flex 2013 runs in the white, black, and blue colorway. I was actually thinking um, of getting the red, gray, uh, slash black, and white colorway. But then they also had gray right here where this part is. And I wasn't feeling that, so I decided to go blue. And uh, let's start off with the outsole. The outsole is really nice and foamy. Foamy material with hard rubber on the tips of the shoe where the heel is and where the toe is. The midsole is black with a foam material as well. The same material that was used on the outsole. You got the mesh right here on the toe box. Keeps your uh, foot really nice and cool. Um, and you also have some more mesh, two panels of mesh going at the back right there. Uh, you have a different material. I'm not sure what this material is, but it's soft, it, it's not new buck, it's not suede obviously, it doesn't look like suede. I'm not sure, but it looks pretty cool, like a matted uh, material. And then it has a Nike swoosh right there on both sides and white. Going on with the breathable mesh, you also have some more on this gray tongue, which I really do like. It's not just 
the toe box, it's going all throughout the shoe mostly for the most part. And then yeah, size nine, I go to your shoe size. Actually no, don't go to your shoe size. I'm usually a size 8.5, but since I have a wide foot, I go to size nine. So if you're wide footed, go size nine. If you're not, you're narrow footed, um, just go your regular size. Really comfortable shoe. I got it 20% off because my dad's coworker work, also works at Foot Locker, so that was awesome. Got them for like 60, 50 or 60 dollars, so definitely a steal for me. Last item up, Nike Sportswear. I showed this pickup from my Air Max 90 Essential, uh, like a quick look and an uh, HD on foot review thing going on there. I'll have the video right here. Basically, it's just like. Uh, some close-up shots on it and what it looks like on feed video. So here's what it looks like on the outsole um, You have a black and red colorway going on there, and then you also have some hoodie just came off Whew. Now for the upper part of the shoe it has tumbled leather right there one wrapping around the shoe on the back and the continuing on it kind of cuts off both ways where the toe box starts the Nike Air is right there in a the plastic, and then after it has the Nike swoosh, it kind of feels like an agenda. So, if you know you got an agenda on you, you scratch this and you scratch that, you got yourself a pretty good match. Uh, so then after the other uh, layer is going to be this suede or, is it suede or is it new buck? It feels more so of a new buck than a suede. Um, because I think a suede has a little bit more of a texture going on. This is kind of a more of a flatter feel to it. Um, so there you go, right there. And also, with the reason why I was really happy about these when I got home, it has a cement print on it. I did not notice that at the Nike outlet stores. Like, this is nice, black, white, and red. Can't go wrong with that. And then I look at it, it has some detail on it, which was awesome when the light hits it. And then you got some more tumbled leather going on here. Finishing off the tumbled leather, you also have some more of it going on the back, the upper back of it. Uh, the rubber parts, the rubber layers on it is on the back. It says uh, Nike with the swoosh and then air. And also has some more of that rubber material uh, where the, uh, what's it called? The, the laces go. So you got some here and on the upper part of the laces right there where the uh, lace holes are. And you also have some more of that cement print uh, with the new buck right here. Going on to the tongue, it's like this thick, so it has some um, some cushioning on it. it. has a red tag that says Nike Air, and then it says Nike Air on the inside of the midsole. And that's it for this shoe. I got it, uh, it was originally, let me take it in focus, um, it was originally 120 in Canada, and I got it for 80 so that's a pretty good price. I know in the US it's like 110 and on sale you would get it for 50 which um, it's kind of hard to get that price in Canada. Um, but for us Canadians, pretty good price. And uh, I'm happy that I picked this up. And that's it for this haul, guys. As I said, please check out On Point Gear's channel. Again, I'll have his Instagram, his Twitter, and of course, his YouTube channel in the description below. If you guys have any suggestions on my video quality, if I have to improve, or just feedback on the video just in general, please do put it in the comment section below. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Keep it real, guys, as always. And peace. I'm out. I can fuck with y'all in the street counterfeits. I can fuck with y'all taking off when you landing. Bitch niggas gonna throw tantrums.